Interest rates are on the rise. Federal Reserve policymakers today increased a key short-term rate for just the third time since the financial crisis. The move is a sign that the central bank is confident about the outlook for the economy. But it's actually much more than that. The move will likely impact borrowers who are looking to take out a mortgage or finance a car. It could potentially help savers who have earned little interest for years. As for investors, many say a strong economy is good for stocks, and that helped lift the market today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 112 points to 20,950. The Nasdaq added 43, and the S&P 500 gained 19. Hampton Pearson takes a closer look at the Fed's interest rate decision. In arguably one of its most transparent moves in recent memory, the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee increased key short-term interest rates by a quarter point. The new range, 0.75% to 1%. It's the second rate hike in three months. Monetary policymakers cited a stronger labor market and improving overall economy as the primary reasons for the hike. The simple message is the economy is doing well. Um, we have confidence in the robustness of the economy and its resilience to shocks. Um, it's performed well over the last several years. Uh, we have created since the trough in employment after the financial crisis around 16 million jobs. The central bank's outlook for growth changed little, however. Policymakers predicting 2.1 percent this year and next before slipping to 1.9 percent in 2019. Fed Chair Janet Yellen signaled the most likely scenario sees monetary policymakers raising rates just three times this year. In recent weeks, Fed speak and stronger economic data raise concerns among market watchers there might be four rate hikes this year. Policy is not set in stone. It is data dependent and we're, we're not locked into any particular policy path. Markets rally with stock prices moving higher and bond yields falling as traders reacted to the Fed. In the hour after the decision was announced, the Dow was up more than 100 points. The Fed is not going to uh, kind of precipitate any kind of recession. They're not going to go too fast, but they're starting to get, get, their, get their groove. They're going to start raising. They've told us they're going to do what the market was pretty much expecting. Today's statement was a little less hawkish than some had feared, and so we're seeing rallies in stocks and bonds. Fed watchers think policymakers may wait until June for the next rate hike. By then, we should have a better idea of prospects in Congress for President Trump's plans for tax cuts, deregulation, and increased spending on infrastructure. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.